Good morning, garden friends, on this beautiful day. I am actually going to be working on my two uh, front entrance uh, garden beds. I'm going to remove the uh, ornamental cabbage, get the beds cleaned out. Uh, I've got an array of plants that I'm going to be putting in here. And um, so my game plan for today is get them laid out, get them planted, fed, and mulch for both of the beds. Now, the plants that are on the outside, my irises, my gay lilies, my bachelor buttons, and my purple hearts, I really don't have to do anything to those, just get the mulch. Uh, so let me go ahead and get everything that I need and get things set up so I can go ahead and get this knocked out. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what I'm going to be planting in here. Now, already in the bed, I have um, some Black Eyed Susies. I have some Larapi that lines the front of the bed. I have some uh, White Asters. I, I, I don't know if those guys are uh, going to come up this year. I just see very small shoots of them, but I'm just going to leave those in there. But then I got uh, some Pinstamen, uh Husky Husker Red that is going to uh, line up the bed. And this is the thing too. I have Gladys that are now coming up and I have this other plant that I have no idea what it is that um, I, I have a plant <laughs> that to this day I do not know what the name of it is but it's beautiful and it gets these burgundy uh, spiky plumes on it that is really gorgeous but it gets really tall and then I have my gladdies then I'm gonna put the pinstamens and then I'm going to be planting these zinnias and these guys get uh, uh, 12 to 36 inches tall now last year when I did them they probably got about 18 inches now if it ends up surprising me this year I I I'll still be okay with that because the pinstamens do get about I think 24 inches tall and then in another uh, plant that I'm gonna put in is the verbenum and these guys are uh, this soft pinkish lavender color that I'm gonna end up lining up the bed but first things first I gotta go ahead and get the bed cleaned out um, get a sense of what is coming back and what isn't um, get some things trimmed up and plant it, fed, and then I'll be mulching the, the beds. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, ornamental cabbage pulled out. Now I do love the flowers on it, so I just might get the flowers and put them in a vase because I do have some daffodils that are still uh, blooming that I might just go ahead and put them in maybe along with some of my um, bachelor buttons because those over there are just so amazing. So let's go ahead and get this cleared out. does make like a really pretty <laughs> bouquet so I am going to use these I love the fact that some of the flowers have a uh, blossom and then you got the ones that haven't so I probably am going to make a, a flower arrangement with this One thing I did notice is that um, some of my pansies either seeded, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get those guys dug up.
And as you can see, I got some gladdens sporadically coming up in here. And that's the plant I was telling you about. And I have no idea what it is, but it'll get as tall as the corner area of, of my fence. Now, the one thing that I'm going to do um, is when I plant my the plants that are, I'm going to be putting in here, I'm probably going to wait uh, probably a couple weeks before I snip down the daffodil uh, stalks. And I know I have more in here than what came up because only two came up. And then here is uh the aster that's back here so not a lot it'll still end up looking pretty coming up and then those are our tulips that i planted two years ago i just got the leaves this year other than on that side i did end up having some blooms so I'm just gonna leave those in there. Now the one thing that I'm going to do, uh, especially with this edging, because I don't like the mulch to go into the grass, so I'll take my trawl and push it back so I have more of a gap and then it looks real good. so that after I get done planting them, I can get this edge and go ahead and get it mulched. Pink, yellow, pink. Oh, those are up there. But I'll put a pink one. And because the verbenum is trailing, I'm going to put a little further back so that it's not spilling over into the grass. It may not look like much while they're in the container, but I'll go ahead, get them in the ground. And the one thing that I'm gonna do 
because this soil, his, his seven years, you know, that I've built up on it, um, I'll be putting some of the black cow manure along with the biotone in each of the holes. Okay, so I, I'm a little apprehensive about using my auger in the bed. So I think I'm gonna use this because I know I have daffodil bulbs in there that did not come up. So I'm gonna just use my little fork here because the soil is soft. And then, like I said, I'm gonna work some uh, the cow manure in here so they have a nice healthy start. No, I don't need that. Now I know some people just end up putting the biotone in there. I prefer getting it mixed in the soil and too with the fact that I got manure in here. Just want to make sure I don't burn the roof. Now, I know when I did my um, pots, how I tore this, you know, the bottom half off, I don't do that when I'm putting it in the ground because they have like an endless <laughs> uh, level of area that they can, the roots can reach into. All right, guys, you know my style. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, get the rest of these plants knocked out, and then I will show you uh, when the bed is all completed on this side. All right, so the front bed is done. And, and look at this, already a squirrel or something was digging in here right there next to my verbena but as i stated like i said i can't remember the name of that plant but my gladdies are coming up and right there by my gladdies is the uh, white asters that are poking up my three uh, pinstamens my zinnias and the pink and the yellow and then my uh larapi that is in the front and then on this side of the entrance way that they both mimic got some day lilies oh no these are irises my purple hearts Something was growing in between there. I don't know what, but there are my day lilies. I do believe in the corner here, I have some more uh, purple hearts that are coming up and my patch of lights. And the other side is mimic the same. So this always looks so nice when you put a uh, fresh coat of malt on it. And then my um, just doing well. Looks like I gotta clip off some ends, but so the two front entrance garden beds are done. And here's the other side. And like I said, I mimicked it. It started to rain, so was not able to get the mulch down but i do like consistency in my garden and then also uh the layering that is going on back here 
I said, the same plant that gets those very pretty pink burgundy color plumes on it that will get almost as tall as the corner pocket. The gladiolas, the penstemons. Um, oh, I do have some black eyed Susans in both of them. The other ones are not as tall as these guys are. And then the zinnias and the verbenum. I think that'll look really pretty having that drift of the verbenum there. And another good thing is based off of layering the garden, it'll give me, like I said, those layers, that texture, the color. I'm just really happy with the color choices and the combinations that is going to uh, reflect. I'm not really a red person for flowers other than um, roses, but I am really interested to seeing how the penstemon ends up blending in with the yellows and, and the pinks that I have. And then the gladdies, I think, are yellow, pink, purple, and then white. So I think that's going to give it a really, really nice look to the front entrance of our yard. All right, I just so love it when you get a fresh coat of mulch on the garden bed. It just looks so fresh and, and nice. And um, both sides are done. And um, I'm just really pleased with how it ended up turning out. Well, thank you again for visiting Inspiring Garden Corner. And I look forward to you checking out my next video. Thank you.